Chapter 1101 At six o'clock in the morning, Emma slowly woke up. This time she slept more comfortably than before. She hadn't dreamed or woke up even once throughout the night. She seemed to be in deep sleep throughout the whole process, so she felt full of energy. Emma was not surprised that she didn't see Alex after getting up, because Alex got up earlier than her every day. Knowing that Alex would take her to pick today, Emma was in a particularly good mood and looked forward to it from the bottom of her heart. After washing, Emma changed into a sports suit before walking downstairs. She thought Alex was cooking breakfast, and she could leave for the suburbs after breakfast, but she didn't expect Alex to be waiting for herself in the living room. When Alex saw Emma coming downstairs, he immediately greeted him and said with a smile, My wife, go, let's go picking. Emma asked in surprise, Ah. Is this going to go? Haven't had breakfast yet. Alex smiled and said, What else do you have for breakfast? Come back and eat. After that, he reached out and grabbed Emma's hand, took her and walked out the door. Emma was held by Alex's little hand, and felt his heart thumping and thumping. On the one hand, he was a little bit ashamed and a little surprised at the same time. For half a day, if we don't have something to eat, what should we do if we get hungry there? Alex smiled and said, you'll know when you go with me. I've arranged everything. Emma asked curiously, did you arrange a farmhouse there? Alex pulled Emma to the door and said with a smile, come on, close your eyes first. Emma was even more surprised, Alex, let me close my eyes now, isn't it too early? Alex smiled and said, what's it early? It's not early, you'll know in a while. Emma could only smile helplessly, closed his eyes and said softly, well, for the sake of you taking me to pick, let's listen to you. Alex smiled and said, then you are not allowed to take a peek. Emma said earnestly, don't worry, I won't take a peek. I am also a person who likes surprises. That's good. Alex took Emma's white tender and warm little hand, and carefully led him out of the house, all the way to the yard at this time, at the east of the yard. More than an acre of fruits and vegetables had been planted. Moreover, the plants of these fruits and vegetables were carefully selected by Mr. White. Not only did the fruits grow well, they did not even have a single insect. The fruits were brightly colored and the leaves were extremely green. In addition, some dew condensed in the early morning. It is even more amazing. Alex led Emma out and came to the vegetable garden. Then he smiled and said to her, My wife, you can open your eyes. Emma asked in surprise, Don't you want to get in the car? Let me open my eyes before getting in the car. Right, Alex said with a smile, If you open your eyes, you will open your eyes. Emma smiled and said, Then I just opened it. After that, she opened her eyes gently. At the moment when she opened her eyes, the rising sun from the east cast brilliant morning light into her bright eyes, making her a little dazzling for a moment, unable to see clearly. Immediately afterwards, her vision gradually recovered. At this time, she was surprised to find that there was an impeccably perfect vegetable and fruit garden before her eyes. She was surprised. Immediately afterwards, he immediately covered his mouth with both hands. Chapter.